When it comes to inserting a picture into your worksheet, it's very simplistic. We'll go over some basic modifications of the picture. If you want something more detailed, then I recommend that you watch my PowerPoint training video. By nature, that's a very visual application, so we do more with pictures there, and also shapes and objects. In any case, to go ahead and insert a picture, come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Illustrations group, and click on Pictures. It opens up. Go ahead and browse for your picture. Double click on it and there you go. Let me click and drag the picture. You can see that when I hover over it I get a four-way arrow. That means that I can move it in any one of those directions up, down, left, and right. And then with the selected you get its related contextual format tab that you got different styles. You can click on the more button. You can have him in a circle or how about a reflection? Oh, That's always fancy. Select that. Now with that reflection, you get some picture effects that also gives you variations of that reflection. Um, you can also give them a nice warm glowing, glowing warm. Well, let's do orange. Hey, that blends in pretty fancy. And then you also got the resizing handles that when you hover over one of those white boxes until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions, you can click and drag it out to stretch them more horizontally or vertically. Let me undo that. Or of course, you can hover over the lower right hand corner and when you click and drag, it'll automatically keep it in proportion here. So if I try to go more horizontally by going up, it doesn't do it. Or more vertically by going down and to the left, no, it just keeps it in proportion. So that's good. Of course, if you want to get more detailed about the size of it, seeing it's got to be the exact dimensions of the width and height, maybe the height has to be 3 inches, then of course there's the size group. Type in 3, hit enter. Keeps it in proportion. If you don't want it in proportion, Click on its expandable dialog box button and it opens up here. Uncheck lock aspect ratio so when you mess with the height, it won't touch the width and you'll get a more elongated picture here, a more stretched out baby. Let's go ahead and undo that. And then if you want the picture back to its original size, you can come in here and click on reset. And there we go. Let's go ahead and close out. To crop the picture, just come up here on the Format tab, click, well, you can click on the Crop drop-down arrow, and you can crop it to a shape if you want, like Diamond. Eh, it's okay. Let me go ahead and undo that. Or just click on the Crop button, and then you can see these uh, black lines around it. So when you hover over one of them, you can see how the four-way arrow turns into more like a T on its side. That means that when you click and drag and push it in, it'll crop out, in this case, the computer there. And then when you're done, just come back up here, click on the crop button again, and there we go. Now if I want it back and I don't have the undo button available, then just go ahead and click on crop again. And you can see that it's still there. I just can click and drag it back until the entire picture is back, and then go ahead and click crop again. Or let me go ahead and undo that. And if I click on crop, and I don't want to eyeball it to get it back to where it was, I want it exactly where it was, then go ahead and expand the group and click on reset and it's back to where it was. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos, and for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.